Hello Taurus, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. In this reading, I'm gonna be doing Taurus versus Taurus. So if you are a Taurian dealing with another Taurus, this reading is for you. Please keep in mind that these readings could be in reference to a family member that's a Taurus or a friend that's a Taurus. To book your private reading, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below and as always, not each and every Taurus watching me is going to feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, I'm going to pull three cards for you over here and then I'm going to pull three cards for the Taurus that you're dealing with on this side. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to how Taurus is viewing Taurus. The person that they are connected to happens to be another Taurus. So how are they viewing Taurus? It's a tricky one. Spirit, please talk to me about how Taurus feels about Taurus. Okay. Conflict, five of wands. You view them as being argumentative, Okay, or they could view you as the argument. Ten of Wands. Tell me more about how Taurus feels about Taurus. You feel left out by this person, Taurus, don't you? also stuck on them. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. You're standing up for yourself though, so I'm proud of you because of that. Let's take a look at how your person, who is also a Taurus, thinks about you. How does this person view Taurus, please? How is this person viewing Taurus? Okay, tell me more about how they view Taurus. So, Seven of Cups, this person has so much love for you, Taurus, that they don't express to you with the Seven of Cups energy, all right? It's not just two cups, it's seven. Whole lot of love, you know what I mean? On your side, you view them as very difficult to deal with. You feel like they left you out in the cold, that they are ignoring you, that they're not giving you enough time. They stopped calling you or texting you or communicating with you the way that they used to is how you feel. But you are feeling trapped to their energy, confined to them with the eight of swords energy. There could be a difference of opinion that you're having with this person, which is why we have the five of wands over here. There's a conflict that you're having with this person. Okay, now let's take a look at their side. They view you as their everything, 10 of pentacles, all right? You are the sun for this other Taurus. But they feel like you're so controlling with the emperor energy. And they're lonely over here. I know you feel like this person is up to no good, but you provide a certain light for this person. And even if they are entertaining other energies, that person is just not you. Okay, so I really feel that from their perspective, they would really like for things to work out with you, Taurus, but I don't know if you're the one who's fighting with them about something, but on your side, I feel that you are very conflicted and there's an argument that happened on your side toward them or you brought something up, but they still view you as you're the one. Okay, the sun card on their side, the ten of pentacles, the emperor, you know, feeling lonely without you. And you're over here feeling left out by them, feeling trapped, feeling like they're giving you a difficult time. So let's see what this difficult time is all about. Let's clarify the five of wands on your side. There's some sort of argument here. So, or disagreement. And talk to me about the Five of Wands energy on Taurus's side. 
yeah so you could be trying to move on or feeling like you need to cut this off and you're struggling to keep moving forward because you feel it's like you feel drawn to them still is the energy that i get all right so you're having a hard time actually moving on or seeing victory without them let's clarify why you feel left out here why does taurus feel left out by taurus Please clarify the five of pentacles. Why does Taurus feel left out by Taurus? There's something you're not willing to put up with. I don't know what that is, but your energy's coming out here, Taurus. It's like... It's like you told them that you weren't going to do something. And so then, you know, your Taurus got pissed off. It's like they can't have their way with you. And that caused an ending. But you still love them and you want to be with them, but you don't want to give them what they want right now. Is what I get. You guys obviously are two stubborn bulls, right? <laughs> I mean, you guys both want each other, though. I do know that. It's on your side, it's on their side. But you are more conflicted than they are. They are more um, in isolation mode. They're more, they're very lonely over here. You are over here ready to fight. <laughs> That's the energy that I get from you. <laughs> um, what does Taurus's person, which is a Taurus, what do they want to say to Taurus? What do they want to say? What does Taurus's person want to say to Taurus? This is a tricky reading, huh? Well, you're going to understand which side you're on based on the vibe that I give you, right? You might be the Taurus on this side or you may be the Taurus on this one. So your person wants you to know that they still want this to work, that they want to invest in you, that you're very attractive. They want to come see you. They want this, Taurus. What can I say? Like, they want this. What do you want to say to them? What do you want to say to them, please? crazy so it's like you want them to stop something what is that there's something that you want them to stop and there's this energy of if you don't do this i'm out of here okay so from your ends you are coming off very brolic over here if, if they don't if they don't do something that you want them to do then it's a wrap for you but on this taurus's side this Taurus wants, wants no beef with you. They don't want no problems. You're the sun. You know, they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They feel lonely. And then this Taurus is over here being chaotic, feeling left out. But I feel like this Taurus feels left out because of something that they did or something that they said to this Taurus. What's the outcome between these two Tauruses? What's the outcome between these two? Communication. I mean, it's all good. All of this back and forth for nothing because you guys are going to be talking to each other again. So, <laughs> you both want the same thing. You both are watching each other. Somebody's watching somebody here. Page of Swords. Okay, so the communication is going to um, be happening 
soon or it's it's going to be improving i see the message coming in here this continues but there's one taurus who's more brolic than the other one the other one you know wants to make things work with taurus loves taurus feels lonely without taurus but rather not speak about their feelings and then we have this taurus over here that's you know giving this Taurus a run for their money. Like this Taurus is no joke over here. This one right here, pulling up with like a bat or something, you know, no sir, I'm just playing. But you know, I just feel like this Taurus over here showing up like a fire sign too, you know? Um, <laughs> all right, so that's my happy Taurus. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching to book your private reading. All of that info was below and take care.